Are you totality excited about the eclipse? This summer in North America, the shadow of the moon will sweep across the United States at over 1,000 miles per hour. Millions of people from around the world will converge within a 70 mile wide path arching from Oregon to South Carolina to witness this rare and spectacular celestial event. This is the 2017 total solar eclipse, and on August 21st, the Exploratorium will be there to capture and stream the event live to the world. For most eclipse viewers, this will be a once in a lifetime experience. The last time a total solar eclipse was visible from the United States was 1979. And the last time that the path of totality traveled all the way across the country from coast to coast was almost 100 years ago, in 1918. What is a total solar eclipse? It's the phenomenon when the moon passes directly between the sun and the earth, temporarily blocking the sun's light and casting a shadow on the globe. This path of the shadow is called the path of totality. The only way to experience a total solar eclipse is to be in this path. So what happens if you're not in the path of totality? If you're not in the path, you'll only experience a partial solar eclipse. That means the sun is only partially blocked by the moon. For the 2017 eclipse, everyone in the continental United States will experience some degree of partiality. But it is only during totality that you can fully experience the solar spectacle. When the sun is entirely hidden by the moon, the outer atmosphere of the sun glows and is visible by the naked eye. Totality is the only time you can look directly at the sun without glasses or filters. Otherwise, never look at the sun without protecting your eyes. Check out the Exploratorium's videos on safe viewing techniques to learn more about how to watch an eclipse. The eclipse will hit land on the coast of Oregon at 10.15 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, crossing Oregon, Idaho, Wyoming, Nebraska, Kansas, Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, Tennessee, North Carolina, Georgia, and South Carolina before ending its terrestrial passage and heading out to sea just before 1 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. The entire process from when the moon first becomes visible over the sun's disk until it leaves the outer edge is about two and a half hours. But keep in mind that totality is only about two and a half minutes on the center line of the path. As you move away from the center line, the length of totality decreases. The Exploratorium, along with our partners at NASA, will be live broadcasting this astronomical event from both Madras, Oregon and Casper, Wyoming. Starting at 10 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, you can watch our coverage of the sun's coverage in both English and Spanish. Audiences can join us on our website, on our Eclipse app, or at special events at the Exploratorium and other institutions across the globe. Just like the moon, we've got you covered. So don't miss this opportunity to experience a total solar eclipse. Hope to see you in the path.